Hello lovely people, I'm Jessica and you should subscribe to this channel because reasons. So this weekend I have felt disgusting. I've been really ill with migraine and thus spent long days in bed being gross and sweaty. And often when you're hit with the black cloud of chronic migraine, sitting up is hard enough. I mean, actually getting out of bed and having a bath and putting on clothes is, is not, it's not gonna happen. So, but when I don't have nice hair and my red lipstick, I just don't feel like me. And as you can tell from the title, I decided that the only obvious course of action is to give myself a makeover. A vintage Barbie makeover. Not that kind of Barbie. Okay, no, really not that kind of Barbie. Still no. Slightly closer? There we are. Original Barbie first made her debut in 1959 and thus celebrates her 60th birthday this year. And she has done some amazing things in those years. I'm completely skipping over the wow, pink, the only thing little girls want is to be pretty obsession bit. My mother was never a fan of heavily gendered toys, so I was only allowed Barbies if they were a present from someone else. And I always make one of my Barbies a cute tomboy who kissed the girly one who wore pink but was also the CEO of the world. So teach your kids that girls can be anything and they'll teach their toys the same. This year is also pretty special because Barbie have released a doll who uses a wheelchair as part of their Barbie fashionista line. Which, considering many people still believe that disabled people can't be fashionable, is really quite a big deal. Mattel did previously release a Becky with a wheelchair, and whilst I, I really appreciate that being the school photographer is her main selling point and not so much the wheelchair, the poor girl couldn't even fit into the Barbie dream house. Her chunky chair. Oh, the new Barbie comes with a ramp and a much cooler chair. So, I'm going to blend the newest Barbie and the oldest Barbie for today's celebratory makeover and we're going to start with my nails because they're terrible. Barbie has a very cute little bouncy ponytail and curly bangs and I don't have any type of fringe, obviously, so we're going to have to fake one. See you in the morning. Let's see how my hair turned out. Please ignore the fact that it is red. Uh, original Barbies actually only came with blonde and brunette versions. And then redheads only came in the early 2000s, I think, with the radiant redhead Barbie. But excitingly, redheads now come in all different body shapes and colors, which is more than can be said for the emojis. Why is the redhead emoji just one thing? Why can't she be a bride? Why can't she be a, a doctor or a princess or anything she wants to be? No, being a redhead is all she is. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I think we're getting our nice little curls that I wanted. Delightful. All righty. I haven't yet decided whether I'm gonna brush these out. <sighs> so clearly slept in this, didn't I? It's fine. Okay, I am gonna give this a little bit of a brush, but only in the ponytail itself, not in its individual parts. I don't really want to break these curls up. Right, you know what this is missing? Hairspray. You know what I don't have in this room? Hairspray. You know what I can't spray when I've got my hearing aid in? Hairspray. Okay, let's make a fringe. I really hope this has worked out. <laughs> let's see. I want to make sure we get this as curly as possible. Yeah, I thought that's a pretty good ringlet. Right there. Yep. Ping. Oh, oh, delightful. So good. Oh, I could be Victorian. Never understood that hairstyle. What were they thinking? Anyway, we're gonna create the next bit using some pins. First off, just gonna brush the top here so that they can move together as one piece rather than looking too much like I rolled them separately. So what I'm going to do is on the first curl, I'm going to pin them all together and then separate them out from there. So, 
bit in two. makeup has changed a lot over the years, as have her eyes. You'll note she's not even looking towards the front. She didn't do that for two years until after she was released. She's just got a little coy sideways glance there. Kind of terrified of her blue eyeshadow. Can't lie, don't normally wear any kind of colour up here around the eyes. So that's going to be new. But you know what? I'm going with it. This is going to happen. First, Let's just pale all this skin out though. I decided to use this completely new primer tested thing that I just got given the other day because obviously a video is the best time to decide to use something new. It's yellow. To be honest though, I'm pretty much just playing dress up right now. So even if it goes terribly wrong, it doesn't really matter because I've still had my fun. It's probably though we should all look at makeup all the time rather than wanting to get it perfect and looking good. Like, we're really just face painting. Besides, no one else knows what you intended it to look like. So you can always just say that that was the effect that you were going for. This patchy skin? <laughs> well, I intended that. The whole oily forehead? Yeah, yeah, I wanted that look. It's dewy. My eyebrows are two completely different shapes and colours? I like that look. Now for a bit I'm slightly scared of. The eyebrows. Have you seen this girl's eyebrows? They are worse than mine. Although she, she's got quite a look working for her, so. Maybe my incredibly arched mini brows will be good for once. Well, there we go. I guess one good thing about a complete lack of brows is that you can really make any shape you want. That's not me advising you to shave off your eyebrows or do anything like that, truly. I mean, mine just fell out naturally and anyone who's got big eyebrows, I just, so jealous. I'm talking about eyebrows so much because I'm, I'm really trying to put off the blue eyeshadow, but I guess it's happening now. <laughs> blue I'll tell you that for nothing okay yeah mm. uh, okay let's put some eyeliner on maybe that will do something okay we have some a beautiful blue lids but you may notice my my face is a little white although be honest, Barbie is the queen of white, is she not? So let's add a little powder, some rouge. Now 
now to create some adorable little Barbie lips. Yeah, I mean, she has a bigger lip, way, way larger than her bottom lip, so I can work with that. I'm definitely adding some strong I Love Lucy vibes, but I don't hate it. How do you think we measure up? Adorable. She didn't actually smile for a few more years, I'm afraid. We tend to think of Barbie in terms of makeup and fashion, but she's actually had about 150 careers at this point. She's been a surgeon, a firefighter, a paleontologist, a medic, a ballerina, a nurse, a rock star, and a dentist. She also went to the moon before Neil Armstrong and returned two more times. Plus, she has run for president six times now. You think she'd take a hint? How do we feel about this makeup? How do we feel? I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel, but I believe in you, Barbie, so let's go put on some clothes. So, original Barbie is not the most modest of ladies. I see that coy look, young lady. I know what you're working. However, she did go on to have some rather nice outfits and I've always been a bit jealous. Thankfully though, Unique Vintage make vintage Barbie clothes in human size. Meet this, the Barbie blue and white shopper. You know, this dress is so pretty, it actually lulls me into the idea. It's okay, still warm enough to go outside with my shoulders uncovered. Oh my god, it's not warm enough. I take it all back. This is obviously the perfect dress for a sunny day and a sunny personality. Okay, this one though, fashion luncheon Barbie. Ooh, this is the outfit that I like to wear to meetings. And if anyone tells you that girls can't wear pink whilst taking over the world, please remind them that pink is originally a boy's colour and the entire idea of gender hierarchy is a social construct. creator said that she wanted the dolls to teach young girls that there are no limits to what they can be when they grow up. <coughs> okay, she's been a little controversial over the years. Teen Talk Barbie caused a stir in 1992 when she blurted out lines like, can we ever have enough clothes? And math class is tough. Oh honey, no. Don't panic though, she has now moved into STEM. She can code and she became a robotic engineer along with her friends. She also explores the world for National Geographic, which may possibly be my wife's dream job. Speaking of which, next outfit, Varsity Barbie. <laughs> You know, when I was a teenager, I wanted more than anything to be a cheerleader because I felt really alone and American teen movies are incredibly persuasive. And finally, classy 1960s style red flare swing coat.
Don't worry, my butler will get it. And if you like your Barbie outfits a little less waspy, you'll find that this gorgeous pink fluff from Hell Bunny is just the ticket. So much so that to celebrate hitting 600,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving it away to one lucky commenter. All you have to do is write, pick me Barbie, along with your Instagram tag in the comments below. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and I'll DM the winner on there. Good luck. Ah, Barbie is a stylish lady, and she's still incredibly popular. Two and a half more Barbies are sold every year than babies born in the United States. They're actually sold every three seconds. And with the number of different outfits she wears, Mattel is now one of the biggest clothing manufacturers in the world. Just some fun facts for your day. Thank you for joining me in celebrating my 600,000 subscribers, and also just cheering myself up. Happiness abounds. Maybe it's even given you some inspiration for this year's Halloween look. If you want more joy in your life, you should hit the subscribe button below and consider using the join button to become a member of the Kelvin Bozard Club and maybe even pick up some of my merch. I mean, it's, it's not actually Barbie related, but it's still adorable. See you in my next video.